Have you ever encountered an error while coding that just leaves you scratching your head? It can be incredibly frustrating, especially when you think you've done everything right. If you're facing an out of bounds exception with NS attribute string, you're definitely in the right place. Today, we're going to unravel this issue together. I completely understand how annoying it is to run into exceptions when you're just trying to get your code to work. You're not alone in this. Many developers have faced similar issues, especially when dealing with attributed strings in Swift. Let's take a closer look at the specific situation here. One user recently asked, why am I getting an out of bounds exception when trying to get attributes from an empty attributed string? They provided this code snippet. Let s equals ns attributed string, string, attributes, ns foreground color attribute name, ui color dot red. This is a common scenario, so let's dig into it. Now, why does this happen? When you create an ns attributed string with an empty string, its length is zero. So, when you try to access attributes at index zero, you're actually going out of bounds since there are no characters to reference. This is a classic case of trying to access something that doesn't exist. And stick around. I have a great tip at the end that will help you avoid this kind of exception in the future. To address the out of bounds exception, the user should first understand that the exception occurs because the attributed string is empty. When trying to access attributes at index zero, it results in an error since there are no characters in the string. Next, the user can implement a check to ensure that the attributed string is not empty before attempting to access its attributes. This can be done by checking the length of the string. The user can modify the code to include this check. If the string is empty, they can return a default value or handle the situation gracefully. Finally, the user should test the updated code to ensure that it no longer throws an out-of-bounds exception when the attributed string is empty. This will confirm that the solution works as intended. Fun fact, did you know that the first programming languages were created in the 1950s? Just like coding, debugging is a skill that has evolved over time. We've come a long way, but some issues still trip us up. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user explains that the out of bounds exception is expected behavior. When the string length is zero, there is no character at index zero, leading to the exception when trying to access it. To illustrate this, the user provides an example with a string of length one. Accessing index one also results in an out of bounds error, confirming the indexing rule. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another perspective. An alternative solution suggests using the attribute function instead of attributes. This method is more efficient, especially when you don't need the longest effective range. It's important to note that both methods will throw an exception if called on an empty string. The index must be within the bounds of the string. Here's the tip I promised always validate your inputs before processing them. This simple habit can save you from a lot of headaches down the road. And there you have it. By checking the length of your attributed string, you can avoid those pesky out of bounds exceptions. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more coding tips and tricks. Remember, every small step you take makes you a better developer.